Welcome to VTN.com. I'm Amina Smith alongside Tom Deanhart to take a look at our matchups for this week. Let's take a look at Ohio State at Maryland. Ohio State, they're coming off of a dominant performance. They scored 62 points against Nebraska, and their defense held them to just three points. Yeah, great effort by Ohio State, especially on the offensive side of the ball. You talked about the 62 points. They needed that effort. Many people have been doubting this Buckeye attack, but again, showed great life against Nebraska last week. Curtis Samuel is the key cog. We've been saying it for weeks. Get the ball to him more often. They did it last week. 173 all-purpose yards for Samuel. He's the only player in America with 500 yards receiving and 500 yards rushing. Amina, when he gets the ball, good things happen. And Maryland, not so much the same story on their side. They were shut down last week against Michigan. They had just 78 yards on 38 carries. How do they get going this week? Yeah, they have to try to run the football just to keep Ohio State's offense on the sideline. They've got some good backs. Ty Johnson's a good one. They've had success doing it in the past. But again, you talked about the struggles they had last week trying to run the ball in Michigan. It's going to be tough sledding against the Buckeyes, but they have to try. Maybe questions a quarterback, too, for the Terps. Perry Hills got knocked out of last week's game. Will he be ready to go? Stay tuned. More bad news for the Terps. The defense has been getting shredded the last two weeks. They've given up a combined 1,300 yards. So long story short, the Terps got their work cut out for them. Well, thanks, Tom. If you guys want more interviews, highlights, analysis, and more on Ohio State, head to btn.com slash Buckeyes. And for more on Maryland, head to btn.com slash Terrapins.